hello everyone welcome back to my channel so students uh, today i am with the another uh, what we call passing strategy video and important questions i will discuss here for this particular subject applied physics for civil stream i have also uploaded videos on uh, for uh, the students of cse students mechanical and electrical i will just provide the link in the description box you can refer that also so my dear friends today uh, this is for the civil stream students uh, applied physics subject it is subject code is b p h y c 202 or 102 if you have a backlog in this particular subject also it is for you people and if you are a regular student it is for also those students uh, who are currently studying this subject that is applied physics so let me tell you some passing uh, uh, modules in this uh, particular subject so my dear friends first module is considered as a passing module it is a very simple one and its numericals are so simpler ones right this is the oscillations and shock waves you may already come across these uh, concepts in the 12th class itself or pu second right so first one is the what is the simple harmonic motion and write the differential equation for shm but there is no derivation this time for the uh, shm over there firstly uh, in the 2018 scheme derivation was uh, for this concept like uh, simple harmonic motion but this time they may simply uh, give you what is the simple harmonic motion and just write down the expression for this uh, particular simple harmonic motion right then characteristics of shock waves and applications of shock waves it is the most important question then construction and working of ready shock tube with the neat sketch over there it is super important question you just write down the diagram construction and try to uh, just write the working for it just to understand this concept in your own convenient language so that you can write it in your own words in the examination then what are forced oscillations obtain expressions for displacement and amplitude of forced vibrations then uh, simultaneously they cannot give this uh, obtain expression for displacement and amplitude sometimes they will give uh, obtain expression for amplitude of forced vibrations and sometimes obtain expression for displacement right and what are the forced oscillations will be the definite question right this is the important question okay then series and parallel combination of springs there is a derivation little bit derivation for this series and parallel combination you just go through and theory of damped oscillations types of damping uh, and engineering applications of damped oscillations uh, these are the theoretical concepts and also some definitions like uh, Mach number and Mach angle resonance and sharpness of resonance stiffness factor and try its problems which are simpler ones so these are the theory uh, questions which are most important one i had taken out from this uh, particular chapter over the end so this is an important one my dear friend so just refer these uh, questions only you will definitely get 15 to 16 mark, uh, marks if i not consider the numerical part over here then module second comes up elasticity it is also a simpler one some derivations are the relationships like uh, important one is relationship between young's modulus rigidity modulus and poisson's ratio that is y neta and uh, uh, sigma over there where symbols have their own meaning sometimes they will give uh, Young's modulus bulk modulus and Poisson's ratio so go through these relationships uh, so that it will become easy for you people to uh, cover this model also and stress strain curve explain Hooke's law very simple one you have to write down the graph for this uh, stress strain curve uh, stress strain then explain Hooke's law then define bending moment derivation of expression you have to define bending moment and also write down the derivation for it then definitions of elastic moduli poisson's ratio limiting values of po poisson's ratio these are the definitions which are important ones then failures of uh, engineering materials like ductile mat uh, fracture and brittle fracture stress concentration fatigue and factors affecting fatigue and stress hardening and softening so this much content is enough to cover model second over there for this particular uh, subject so these are the two uh, you have to focus on then module 3 comes up which is also a passing module right so this is acoustics and radiometry and photometry explain cosine law and inverse square law and relationship between luminance and radiation quantities describe uh, reflectance and transmittance and Sabine's formula is a derivation over the year you just go through and factors affecting the acoustics and uh, remedial measures and impact of noise in multi-storied buildings then types of acoustics absorption power and absorption quotient uh, reverberation and reverberation time you have to focus on this is the passing module as it contains a lot of theory in it so just to go through this uh, particular part you can easily cover this right then module 4 comes up 
discuss the interaction of radiation with matter and laser action so this is the laser part over there actually uh, there is also a optical fiber these are the two chapters in the module fourth so i have taken some most important questions which will definitely come in the vtu examination so first one i have discussed is the interaction of uh, radiation with matter and requisite uh, of a laser system and explain the construction and working of a semiconductor laser it is the most important one my dear friends to re refer this particular question that is construction working of semiconductor laser then laser range finder it is also the important one it is the application of uh, laser over there then application of laser in road profiling bridge deflection and speed checker and some numericals are on this uh, particular chapter that is laser part you just go through simpler ones are there no need to go to the depth only just put down the values uh, of the particular given over there <clears throat> then construction and working of optical fiber displacement sensor it is again a super important question and construction of fiber optic temperature sensor these two sensors you have to go through try to practice and practice well for this uh, particular construction for this uh, optic fiber displacement sensor and optic temperature sensor and expression for numerical aperture any again an important one modes of propagation and attenuation and fiber losses so this much content is enough to cover module 4 over there so i hope you will do it and you will kill this subject this time with the good flying colors over there then module fifth which is the natural hazard and safety it is a full theoretical concept so my dear friends i have written here super important module which you don't um, you should you shouldn't leave this module over there as it is a theoretical module so cover all theory as per syllabus it is a passing module theoretical module so if you just refer model question papers also so try to uh, what we call cover those theoretical concepts which are in the model question paper also and according to the syllabus so this much content is enough to cover this particular subject you can easily score 70 to 80 marks if you just cover this much portion even more than 80 you can cover if uh, there is a luck matters a big role major role in the video examination you may already come across so thanks for watching my video